Coming up, it's a rematch from Week 10, where Las Vegas grabbed just the fourth win in the last 17 games against KC. It's the Raiders and the Chiefs, and it's next on EA Sports. From one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They are set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Chiefs ball club. They come in playing pretty good football, winners of four of their last six games. On the other side of the field for the visiting Raiders, they're hitting their stride of late, winners of three of their last four. And the offense last week, they had things humming. If you're a defensive player, you may get overshadowed a little bit, but you're really buoyed by what your offense is doing. a way to win that's all that really matters Mahomes now on first down that one tipped and it's incomplete but good hands there defensively at second down here's second and ten now Mahomes he'll find his running back Edwards Alaire and he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. So Patrick Mahomes, guys, he's playing at such an elite level. Defensively, coming into a game like this, Charles, what, that's got to be a lot of things, but what worries you the most? I think you're exactly right about that. The list is extensive about what worries you. The way he can move, make completions off the run, the way he can throw against his body, heck, make that hand it through, if you name it, he gets it done. The biggest thing, though, is once he gets in the rhythm, Trying to get his timing chipped away, trying to stop that, that is really difficult to do. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. These two division rivals, a couple of late games on the schedule this year. Their first meeting, you might remember, was back in week 10. Of this, the second meeting between these two division rivals. You might recall they met earlier in the year. I'm not sure if this play was designed for him specifically, but they got the progression to get the ball to him. So, second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Absolutely. This early in the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So, if they can get him going in the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. Mahomes now on first down. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked by Trey Don Mullen. The Raiders getting ready to go to work for the first time. And they're led by their quarterback in his eighth season now in silver and black, Derek Carr. And if you go by the numbers, he's had a Pro Bowl-type season. And maybe that's even selling him a little bit short. He's the NFL leader in touchdown passes to this point in the year. And with the end of the season not too far away, he's got his guys playing at a very high level. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10, just shy of the 30. 
First carry for Josh Jacobs. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Yeah, baby. Yeah. A check on Jacobs from a week ago. He was creeping up toward 200 yards. Thought he was going to get there. Didn't quite make it, but also two rushing touchdowns. And even if he only got about half those numbers this week, his team would take it in a heartbeat, wouldn't they? Because last week, he was spectacular. To throw on second and six. Carr, man open, that's Henry Ruggs. Five yards on the pickup, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Solid catch there for a man who's been so brilliant this year. Worth pointing out, as we were talking about earlier, there has never in the 60-year history of the award been a pass catcher, tight end, or wide receiver that has taken home the MVP trophy. And the best receivers I've talked with, they know that stat, and it drives them crazy because they understand that without a quarterback, they don't make the plays that they make. But they also don't feel like they get enough credit for bailing out some of the throws the quarterbacks make. Yeah, absolutely. It takes two to tango. There's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Car now on first down. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, speed is definitely a calling card if you play cornerback in this league, and he does a terrific job there of hustling in quickly to make the play. And you can just see that whole play developing. That's where, as a defender, you just lock in on your target and say, I'm not even thinking about breaking stride. I'm running straight for the belt buckle because where it goes, that's where you find his body, and he's able to get in there and make a great play. On first down, Jacobs. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Go, now, let's do this. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Relatively small sample size, but that's his longest run of the first quarter. Bounced it out to the outside to make it successful. And to get there, you actually need some help. It's not just your pure speed getting to the corner, making sure that the blocking is taken care of inside so the pursuit doesn't get you. And oftentimes, those wide receivers, tight ends that might be flexed out, they've got to control the edge and make sure no one from the outside can spill the play before he gets there. Into the red zone, it's Carr. And that is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Darren Waller with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Raiders are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone to so give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And that makes it 7-zip Vegas. That time a six-play drive. And it winds up in six points for the Raiders. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get them down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Now a second down and six. Well, this defense for the Raiders, they were terrific a week ago in the win over Washington. And what I saw in film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. Five sacks last week. Plenty of hurries given up. So now what do you do on offense? You just back to protect? Keep everyone in and run the ball? Or maybe just one or two receiver routes in order to try to keep your quarterback upright? First and ten, it's Edwards Alaire with it. 
And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. On second and 11 now. Mahomes to the right side. It's Kelsey. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where Come on, every series, go. they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 48-yard line. They go back to the ground with Edwards Alaire. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Not the kind of gain that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of gain that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL. And Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. Throwing on second and eight. Mahomes. There goes a deep ball. End zone. And did he get the feet down? No. They'll say he did not. It's incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Here comes the ball. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people give to give him the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy. And that's what they're doing early in this game. Second quarter from KC. It's the Chiefs in possession of the football. As they've got it with a second and four coming up. To throw, it's Mahomes. That to his running back, Edward Tulare. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They fake the give, now Mahomes. Throw over the middle, caught by the tight end Gray. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. His second touchdown on the season. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw in the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that one along 11 play drive. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. 
Giants heading out as we take a look at the playoff race in the AFC. As of this moment, as pretty much everyone knows, they sit alone in that top spot, but nothing is guaranteed. They haven't even clinched the playoffs, so a good start, but a long way to go. And you know a blunt veteran inside their locker room has stood yeah, up at baby. one point or another and said, you know, that, you know all this means nothing so far. We've got to cover this, get it done. What do we want to be? It's like winning a title in August, right, in preseason. Doesn't count. Let's go ahead and get this thing done. Now second and seven from the 23. Here's Carr to throw. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They head to the line, facing a third and seven, following the incompletion on second down. Card out of throw. And that is incomplete. And this is what you wanted to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out and giving the ball back to their offense. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Good open field tackling there. A 50-yard punt followed by just a one-yard return. And it's Chiefs football, first and ten. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great try to find his tight end, Kelsey, and it's intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. because he had visions of end zone in his mind. Going to be the total hero. But we did see there the emphasis on it's not just good enough to pick it off anymore. Bring it back, get the yardage, and really help out your offense. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. They'll run it with Jacobs. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look coming from the offense. Countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. Jacobs again. Yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. That'll go as a loss of nine, and it leads to third down. So it's third and goal now. This is where the KC crowd can make it very tough. Carr now on third and goal. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx it. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happened. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, that's not exactly how they drew that one up, nor practiced it, because on first down, you're trying to get some yardage to set up second and third down calls. In this case, had to drop it off to his running back. But boy, they closed quickly on that one and stopped him behind the line of scrimmage. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes, they'll set up the screen to Edwards-Alaire. 
Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively, and the key to any screen play is space to work, and there was none to be found there, and they tackled for just a short game. The Chiefs on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and six. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Back deep, Hunter Renfro. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Let's go! The Raiders offense ready to go. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too bad. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. He'll let this go deep for runs. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Here's Carr. Flush to his right. Gives himself up, but not before he picks up a first down. A good decision in the end. The pull and run gets him nine yards and a first. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. Derek Nottie makes the tackle. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to small up the ball carrier. But now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A game there of 30 big ones. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Now Carr. Looking again for Waller, and he's got him again. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They'll run on first down. It's Jacobs. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Second down, Jacobs once more. Down right around the 25. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7. Good score. We hit halftime as we do all season. We'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Carr going to throw. Forced out to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. The Kansas City defense, tough to throw on there. And now it's fourth down. Well, the other day they told us when well, we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. 
So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. And now here comes Kansas City, and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And got his man complete. Contact. It's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Yeah, this is one of the best runs you'll see. A lot of times on these long touchdowns, you'll see he gets into the end zone untouched, but not here. He fought his way through contact, and it barely even registered, and he just continued down the field all the way to the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target, and with it, his guys take the lead here by a point. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will not be brought out, it's a touchback. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Las Vegas' is offense back out there, ready to go. And after the field goal last time, see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 38. And they will finally get to him, but a great return has set him up. First and goal at the five. So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it's a key to their win. And it'll be a key to this game as well. Protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Demarcus Robinson. Demarcus Robinson hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Down incomplete. 
Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Mahomes going to throw. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. And he'll look underneath here for Edward Tolaire. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they get five there on third and two. Mahomes to throw once more. And oh, it'll be intercepted. William Jackson with a pick and a short return to the six-yard line. And they ain't got nothing. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because oh, well, here we are in December. Of giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. The Raider offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get in the field goal range. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And they have the football that will take over at the 24-yard line. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly have their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it. That's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He'll swing this one out to Edwards Alaire. It'll be a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He'll drop that off to Edwards Alaire. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, let's get to some of these scores around the NFL here in a busy week 14. We'll start with one of the best rivalries in the NFL. Dallas on the road in our nation's capital. And it's the Cowboys on top as they play the second quarter. The Cowboys still in a dogfight, but this would be a good victory for them if they could get it. Next, we head off to check out another game. And they trail in that ball game to the visiting Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks seem to be on their way to what would be a good victory. Lastly, let's head to Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. See what's happening with the Bengals. And that game is tied as they take on the visiting 49ers. On now to a check on the next-gen stats in the first half for the Raiders. And I can imagine the halftime discussions are about how can we improve the running game. They have not had success so far, and it's reflected on the scoreboard. Meanwhile, for the Chiefs, you get a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And whatever they've done, it's worked, as they have the lead through two quarters of play. The final adjustments taking place here for both of these squads. They're about ready for the second half in Kansas City. And for the call, we rejoin Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Derek, 
Carr getting ready to go again on offense. And he's looking to take much better care of the football here in half two after three first half interceptions. We don't have to just look strictly at the numbers here. You know what else happens to a team when you turn it over three times like that? It erodes confidence in you. And it erodes confidence in the offense. And they have the defensive guys looking over and saying, what is going on here? And instead of playing for the team, they're playing angry and mad at their teammates. Second down, Jacobs once more. And some room to work. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 58 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Boy, the offensive line there, that was a thing of beauty to watch them block. I love how you give a little appreciation for those big guys up front and well-deserved. But how about the execution behind them? You can see the hours of practice that have gone into it. Great pocket by the running back. Quarterback puts it right in the perfect spot. Great mesh point by them. The timing on point, the run even better. On first down, Jacobs. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still. Got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? On second down, Jacobs. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. they got a nice little drive brewing right here. They'll run on first down. It's Jacobs, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. When you're lateral to the line of scrimmage, linebackers keep those shoulders square so they can go up and down. But when it's time to go, turn your shoulders just like a running back. Get through the line and hit the runner in the backfield. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Second and 12, operating from the 39. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. Now that's the mouth of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Got a man on the right sideline. It's Edwards. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Brian Edwards. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Raiders move back within a couple of the lead. After allowing that last score, the defense knows they've got to tighten things up. Otherwise, they'll let them right back into the game. So now Carr, he'll lead the Raiders up to go for two. Carr will look to throw. Goes right side. And he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. 
And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Oh, yeah. Cheetah Bay Awuzier with a pick. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. Now, remember, this is the number one defense in the National Football League. There's a good example of why. Shows that they set an aggressive tone, not just stopping the run, not just getting after the quarterback, but the ball's in the air. They treat it like they're the receivers, and they went after that one and took it all the way. And this is no good. It's a missed extra point. Boy, the tight game, how important might that turn out to be here as the second half rolls along. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Set to take over, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. And Charles, we look at the performance so far. Three touchdown passes. Been pretty good, but they're losing. You start with the positive, exactly as you stated. The three touchdown passes he's already thrown. You see them here getting it done. But the rest of the team, as well as himself, they've got to figure out what it's going to take to try and rally themselves back into the lead. Absolutely. They've got to find a way to turn it around. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they gave up the pick six. And now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now, as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be, just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in, and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful, because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary on that last possession, though. And a good job by the Raider defense yet again as they drop him for a second straight loss. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. I see a shake of the head as he gets up and you've got to imagine he's thinking guys you got to help me out he's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance now the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down Mahomes now to throw He's got his man, that's Hardman. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball. They leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Shotgun snap and again to Edwards Alaire. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Here's Mahomes to throw. He's going to loft this one deep left sideline. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Yannick Ngakwe make that now eight sacks for him on the season. That's their first time getting to the quarterback sack number one, and, you know, they had five last week I'm remembering and you have to find a way to slow down the pass rush not necessarily with just protecting your quarterback but you show them a lot of different looks and they did that in the first half you know different angles different things to slow down the speed they got to him here in the second half now they've got to come up with a counter to that and maybe do something different here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time he'll send this one into the Midwestern air and it's a good one Here's Renfro to return. And he'll be out of bounds right at about the 10-yard line. They'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. Time again to see Josh Jacobs and this Vegas offense operate. He's looking sharp here so far in the third quarter, Charles. 
It appears that the halftime gave him a little bounce. He came out, springing his legs, a little pep in his step. He's taken off and running really well in the third quarter. Sometimes we talk about how guys don't want halftime to come, but some guys are happy when that break gets there. You never know which way it's going to go. He's taking advantage of it in this one, though. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Throwing now is Carr. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Jarvarius Ward. You and this will be brought back what? to the 22. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football, well, that just went out the window there with a the pick. And you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words every time we hear that. Things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Now here's Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Well, the coverage was tight that time. They allowed the pass underneath to him, but they rallied to him pretty fast, too. Converged on him and got him down. That'll bring up fourth down. And they're going to fake it. He wants to throw it here. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the Chiefs have tied it, and they can take the lead with the extra point. It took a pretty big risk right there going for it on fourth down. But, hey, not only did they get the first down, forget about that, they got in the end zone. Yeah, because normally you're just thinking, can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up a first down? Instead, they go for the end zone and get it done with no margin for error. Remember, fourth down, they went for it. Bunker on for the PAT. And with that, his guys take the lead here by a point. So that drive, four plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. Now after the touchdown, here's Bunker on to kick it away. Now to return it, here's Kenyon Drake. And he returns this to the 22. Here Time again to see go. Josh Jacobs and his Vegas offense operate. And in the early going, the running game, as we see the numbers, it just wasn't on point. Well, now it's gotten more true to form. And sometimes it takes a little while for an offensive line to get in sync. Because early in the game, defenses throw different patterns at you, different formations, different sets. And you might not block them quite the way you want to. But as you start to get into a groove and you figure out what they're doing, now it all comes together, and that's what we're seeing right now. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with this third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. The Raiders on third down. They've hit it 50%. Three of six to this point. This is third and seven. Now Carr. He'll let this go deep for runs. And now here's another interception. Picked up by LeGerald Sneed. And he'll bring it all the way back, just a yard or two shy of midfield. The interception rose and just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks 
at this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the years? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran a wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It can be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing it. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Kill the intended receiver once again. And it's second down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Looking for him again. This time it's complete. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little game there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him. Bring it up fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. And a fake here, direct snap to the up man. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool them. And the Raider D, they get the football back. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. You don't want to attack. We'll see how they attack up here. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles where he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. From just shy of midfield, Carr. And this will be caught by Edwards. Touchdown! Third touchdown pass now for Derek Carr. And the Raiders on just two plays have taken the lead. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. And now the Raiders will face an important two-point conversion attempt here. They'll try and throw for it. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational, and you have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. And the passing game, I mean, look at the numbers. It's falling off. When a team is struggling, sometimes you look at the quarterback. When the quarterback starts to struggle, who goes over and picks him up? Yeah, that's always a big one, isn't it? Usually, there's a quarterback whisperer somewhere. And what I mean by that is, whether it's an assistant coach, but it's one of his best friends on the team. Someone that can get his ear, get with him and say, all right, my man, what do you need? What's going on here? So there's one person he can lean on. He's going to have to lean on that guy right now. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. 
And that is incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? The offense just continues to reign supreme. Big plays, both sides, back and forth. Tough to keep track of. It certainly is, and I'm over here just marveling at what I'm seeing. It's tough for you, though. You've got to call all these big plays and have all this emotion each time they go at each other. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. And again, it's Mahomes. Being chased out left. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. To throw again on second down, Mahomes. This is caught by Robinson. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. I tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Chiefs on third down. Five out of nine thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. He's going to find his tight end gray complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. I know I spent a lot of time talking about how tight ends in a lot of cases now are pumped up wide receivers, but they're still big people. He used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. Mahomes now on first down. Caught Kelsey, left side. It's so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. And a nice gain of 21 yards. That's a nice job of working his way up and down in the red zone. Put that one in and then made a beeline for the pylon. He didn't quite get there, and you want to give him a little extra for the effort. But instead, he sets his guys up in excellent shape for the first and goal. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Clyde Edwards, he with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. We are set up for a fantastic finish now. Fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Continue in this wild fourth quarter. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, pulled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw him through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, 
this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Running it with Jacobs. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Kareem Martin up to make the tackle. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. On second down now, it's Jacobs. Powers through him, and he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 118 yards rushing for him now in this one as he is closing in on 1,800 yards for the year. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory, right at the 40. Getting down to the good stuff, all tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got it first and 10 as they search for a go-ahead score. On first down, Jacobs. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. This a second and seven from the 37. Here's Jacobs. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeout as it comes with a minute 25 left to go in the contest. Field goal try would be almost 50 yards from this spot. So what can they do to get closer now on third down? On third down, here comes Jacobs. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Get ready, get ready. Get now a ready. second timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. now and now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine that we belong the chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play car going to give it to jacobs and for one of the few times here today, this one's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. On third down, it's Jacobs, and he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. And five yards on the play there, the drive will continue. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. missed a kick all year why would he start now <laughs> that's a great question isn't it well maybe because that was the most nerve-wracking kick he had to attempt all year but he knocked it through just like it was an easy chip shot 
After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Look at the clock. Everyone knows the situation. Probably time here for one final play. And we know what that play is going to be. It's got to be some sort of Hail Mary throwing it towards the end zone and hoping someone can catch it or catch it off of a tip. Think back to 2015. Didn't we see Green Bay pulled that off yep, twice absolutely. in the season? Once in the regular season, once in the playoffs. So stranger things have happened. It'll be interesting to see what the defensive strategy is about who they put on the field to try and knock that ball away. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for Las Vegas, the win pushes their record now to 11-2 on the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Cleveland to take on the Browns. Meanwhile, for the Chiefs, it's just their third loss as they fall now to 10-3. And, and they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road.